Dr. Ashish Vashisht, ENT surgeon uh, from Manipal Hospital, Dwarka, New Delhi. Today, we will be talking about a very specific topic, which is called single side deafness, in short, SSD. Uh, this also means, ek kaan se nahi sunna. So, this, what this basically means is, when your one ear is functioning totally normally, and the other ear, whether it is sudden or progressive, is not functioning at all, or has a very, very remarkably low function, as compared to the normal ear. What this leads to is that you only use one ear and the other ear is not usable. We see many, many patients with this kind of uh, disability across age groups, whether they are uh, young children, adults, young people, or even middle aged or, adult or uh, geriatric people, old people. So many people actually believe that single side deafness has no cure. While because patients can manage through their life from hearing with one ear, and they feel this is normal and either they do not require any, any, any treatment for this or uh, it's not possible. But this is not true. Why? Because number one, single side deafness is a handicap. What may, most patients do not realize is that it might not be a handicap in a closed room in a one-to-one -one conversation, but it's a big handicap in a social situation when you're talking to more than two, three people, when you're in a meeting, you are in the middle of a lot of sound, noise, and noise is a part of our daily routine. It is not uh, specific to you, me, or any one person. We are subject to noisy surroundings on a daily basis, whether it is road, whether it is restaurants, whether it is meetings, trying to talk to people, socializing, gatherings. So it is in all these situations that uh, the disability of a single side deafness always comes allowed. Why? Because we are forced to hear from one ear. And let's say if, uh, if somebody who speaks to the ear that we are deaf from and the noise is coming from the other ear it creates a huge conflict and distress for the person for the person who has it also what most people fail to understand is that they are solely dependent only on one ear we have had instances where people with single side deafness have been managing so far and when suddenly they have even a small ear infection or god forbid a bad ear disease that makes them go deaf from the normal ear their life comes to an absolute standstill. They go into depression, they have nowhere to go, their communication goes to rock bottom, that is zero. And it is not suddenly that we can now do anything, right? So single side deafness has consequences, more so for the young people, because they have a number of years of lifespan and a lot of things can go wrong in this. And also because it is a disability, which uh, can be cured. Now the question is, how do we cure single side deafness? So there are two ways of managing the single side deafness. One is non-surgical, where we use a cross hearing device, which means contralateral routing of signals, which is basically means wearing the hearing aid on the side of deafness, but it sends sound to the normal ear to get you sound localization. It is not the best situation or the best way to do it. And the better ways of rehabilitating such patients are surgical. There are two kinds of surgeries which can do in single side deafness patients. One is called a Baha or a bone anchored hearing device where we simply do a very simple surgery implant a device right here, which does not give you sound in the, no in the deaf ear, but rather sends sound to the normal ear through our skull bones, helps you in localizing the sound so that if somebody sits on the side of deafness, you can still communicate with comfort and ease. The third way of rehabilitating single side deafness patients is nowadays a cochlear implant. While initially cochlear implants were not approved for this purpose, in today's world they are very much so and we have been doing them and we, utilize, and we recommend these cochlear implants in young patients, in multilingual patients, patients who want to socialize and most importantly patients who want to have a security so that if the other ear, the normal ear tomorrow or after some time has a disease or becomes deaf, they do not become uh, totally non-communicable. So, you know, they, they can be implanted, though uh, rehabilitation after cochlear implantation in single side deafness is a, is a matter of uh, discussion. But definitely, these patients after long-term therapy can derive hearing from both the ears, one from cochlear implant, one from the normal ear. And research has now shown that our brain is very much capable of integrating these two very different sound signals and converting it into one so that long-term hearing outcomes are much, much more better as compared to not hearing from one ear. Thank you.